unzipping a best crypt container with files in it is very simple to do the first thing you need to do is download this BC Traveler file and you can do that download either from perhaps you've been forwarded a directory with that file or maybe you're going to go here to this website and download it here is the URL that you want to go to all right or you can search on the internet for best crypt but you want to get to the free security tools and the tool that you want to download is right here best crypt traveler for windows access encrypted files and that's exactly what we're doing here we're accessing this encrypted file now to open this we're going to go ahead and just drag this whoops we're just going to click on the file itself we're going to drag it right on top and do you see where it says open with Jetico BC Traveler unpack and install utility you're going to hit release it there and then you're going to say yes uh, to allow it to happen and this actually just un just prepares the utility for us so that we can go ahead and put in the password now notice here it's going to mount it to drive E we can select the drive letter that we want it to go to and then we just put in the password and hit OK now once we've selected OK notice here that we are in the local disk drive E and these this is some information that needed to be shared so this is secure information we don't want it to go anywhere so when we're done with the information we can close this folder but that that drive will still be mounted on your system until the time that you dismount it or um, you want to go ahead and close out and reboot your system so let's go ahead and take a look at how we dismount that drive real quick so see the drive right here this is the drive with that sensitive information notice it appears as a drive letter because with best crypt we're not encrypting a drive we're encrypt not excuse me we're not encrypting specific files we're encrypting a container that gets moved around that is encrypted so you can put as many files as you want into it as long as you have capacity of course and to, to dismount this we're going to just do a right click here and we can go ahead and dismount it by just selecting right here dismount and then that drive will no longer be available on your system so you won't be able to see it so if you need to access this file again you're going to need to repeat the process and I'm going to do it one last time you drag the encrypted file right there onto the traveler and then you hit yes and then it will come up and ask you for a password you're going to type in that password hit OK and as soon as you do that drive E which is what I chose to mount it to is going to pop up and become available when I'm down when I'm done with that drive I'm just going to right click on it and select dismount